Hello, it's Libby from LibbyStamps.com and I'm here with another Lucky Elephant card in my series. This is number three in my series for this week. And this for this card I've used Lucky Elephant and the Balloon Adventures and the Balloon Pop-Ups Inlets Dies. Now Balloon Adventures and Balloon Pop-Ups Inlets Dies both come bundled at the moment for a 10% discount. So that's a great discount only available in the current occasions catalog. I'm also using the I'm bringing birthdays back stamp. All right, so we'll get started. This one's in dapper denim and I've used copper embossed powder here and here on the banner. And I've done copper here and copper metallic thread down under the balloon. This DSP is from the Party Animal Designer Series paper, which is 12 by 12. So I've also done the envelope and the inside of the card. So we'll get started on making this card. All right, for this one I'm going to use dapper denim. So we'll just fold the card stock up to start with. I'll get my bone folder and burnish that crease. And I'm using the party animal again and this time I'm just using the spotted one now in order to get the banners sort of even what I did was I sort of gently looped the piece in half which is two centimeters by 14.3 centimeters or three quarters of an inch by five and a quarter inches and I've just cut down the middle there and then I simply do into that cut and again and there I've got my my banner cut and you can choose to use either side and I'm going to adhere it just to the card with a bit of liquid multi-purpose glue Put it about there I think. Alright so that's that part of it done. Now I'll show you how I did the elephant with the copper embossing on here. So I took my piece of Whisper White which is 9.2 by 10.5 centimetres or 3 and 5 eighths of an inch by 4 and a quarter inches and I stamped him in smoky slate but this one I'm going to do in crumb cake. So I just simply inked up my stamp all right when I was happy with the inking I turned it over and this is where you can come in with your Versamark re-inker and a paintbrush and just paint the saddle I'm lucky enough to have a Versamark pen so that's what I'm going to use and so I just come in and I just touch these little tassels, clean off my pen, and then I come back and I just do the rest of the saddle. And you do need to make sure you get it all. So you need to clean your pen in between or your brush, whatever you're using. Make sure it's got the Versamark ink on it. All right, that'll be, be about all I can do for that. And then I'm just going to stamp down on my piece of Whisper White. And I sort of line the bottom of the feet up with the bottom of the cardstock to try and get it straight. All right, you can see straight away that that hasn't got ink or hasn't got much ink on it. All right, so this time I'm going to bring in some gold embossed powder and I'm just simply going to put that embossing powder all over the saddle. And see these little extra bits here. I just bring in a paintbrush. You should probably use your embossing buddy, but I just bring in a paintbrush. All 
All right, and then I'll be back in a second when I've heat embossed that. And there we have our elephant with the gold embossing. I'm hoping you can see that. All right, so then I want to come in and do my sentiment on here. I'm using my dapper denim. And right, the sentiment says party on. So I've just laid that, that up on my block. I'm going to stamp down. Then I'm going to stamp off because I don't want it to be quite so vivid. And then I stamp on my card. And while we've got the dapper denim out, we'll do a bit more stamping. We'll stamp on the inside of our card. So again, I'm going to stamp off and I'm going to stamp this one because it's photopolymer. You can see where you're stamping down in the corner like that. And of course, on my envelope, again, stamp off and on the front of the envelope because you can't have a boring envelope down in the corner again. And then one more lot of Emerald Envy. And that's with the I'm Bringing Birthdays Back stamp set, which is a single stamp. All right, and then I'm going to just stamp down on the back of the envelope. And that's all that stamping that we need to do with the Emerald Envy. All right, my last lot of stamping is going to be on my elephant. And I'm going to bring in the banner. So it's this banner here from the Balloon Adventures set and I'm going to stamp that in Versamark so I'll just ink it up well and because it's photopolymer I can see where it's going to go and I just want to get it right in the middle of that party on that I stamped earlier stamp down and then the gold embossed powder again And I'll just be back in a second when I've heat set that. All right, so there's our piece ready to put on our card. And again, I'm just using liquid multi-purpose glue for this. Now, I use the balloon from the balloon pop-up stem that dies. All right, what we might do now is just adhere the inside of our card so that we've got a little piece for, for you to write on. I always like to put an insert into my cards. Usually it has a single stamp on it, but I don't usually put sentiments inside. So that's the inside finished. They have a few different balloons you can use from the set. So there's a, a plain balloon, a striped one and a spotted one. All right, now I went ahead and die cut a striped balloon from the balloon pop-ups inlets dies. And I also die cut out the little bow part to go on the bottom of it. So the other one looked like that and my paper piercing tool and with my glue dot I make like a little ball on the glue dot surface and then I add it to the tip end of the balloon where you'd normally blow the balloon up alright we'll try again with our metallic thread so I wrap it around three fingers a few times and then I grab it and twist it into a figure eight a couple of times and then I loop it and drag it down so it's about even and then grab it between my fingers like that and sort of manhandle it onto the end of my balloon. Come back in with my paper piercer and make sure I've got all those little threads added to the glue dot. All 
Alright, they're all caught up with the glue dot and then I put another glue dot using the same method over the top of it just to make sure all those bits stick. And that's when I come in with my snips and I snip the loops and then I sort of even those bits up like that. Alright, and then I'm adding some dimensionals. Now, these little side bits I cut so you've got half a dimensional. So from those bits I'm going to cut that in half again with my snips. So I've got quarter of a dimensional and I'm just going to add that to perhaps here. Alright, so our balloon's ready to go on. We can't see any bits sticking out. So when I just put the balloon, try and get all those metallic thread bits down. And so I put the balloon about there, stuck it down. And then I've come in again with my glue dots and made a little circle with my paper piercing tool. And I've popped that on the top here where you blow the balloon up. And then I've popped the bow over the top. And by doing that you don't have any sticky bits sticking out and your balloon's also raised. So that's our Emerald Envy one with the inside done and the envelope decorated. And then of course we had the Dapper Denim one. This one's done in Crumb Cake and Gold. This one's done in Smoky Slate and Copper. So I hope you liked that video today. And don't forget to check out my specials on the lucky elephant there's one each day this week and they're only available for a week all right thanks for stopping by bye for now hey if you want to play make it about a place it'll take creation imagination try to draw outside the line let us see it inside your mind